Today on the Over Episode 7, I'm truly honoured to be joined by World Cup winner, Ace founder, TV broadcaster and, Eb- and MBE, Ebony Rainford Brent. How's it going, Ebs? I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing? Thanks All for right, having thanks. me. It's great to have you, obviously. Yeah, and also it's always great to see you, one of the most passionate kids I know, so I love it. I'm ready. Okay, let's start over. Go for it. Um, who or what started off made you start playing cricket? Good question. So I, um, I grew up in South London, um, sort of between Hernhill and Brixton, and I only played football as a kid. My brothers did. But luckily, a guy called Tony came into my primary school and he was going into South London just trying to teach kids like street cricket. And um, I just remember the first time I hit, like, you know, the orange squidgy balls? Have you seen right, them the off a of Bat? Yeah. The Incredibles, yeah. And the first time I hit it, it went flying. And I was just, I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. I loved it. So, yeah, Tony got me inspired, played loads of street cricket, and that's yeah. what got me passionate. So you played for a local club around this area here? Yeah, so I used to play in Stockwell Park School, which is like a secondary school. It's like a big concrete field. Um, And I played street cricket for the first couple of years. And then um, luckily a lady like spotted me at kind of one of those competitions and got me into Surrey. So that was it from street cricket into Surrey. So did you have any like major coaches to help you along the way? Yeah, I did. I had, um, so Tony Moody was the first guy. And I remember he used to get me with this drill with a, bat on a string and like I would hit just hit the ball like almost like put it on a washing line yeah and he taught me about like getting that front shoulder through and taught me the basics of cricket and then once I got into Surrey I had a coach who went through all the way to the end of my career called Jeremy so um, he was a Surrey coach still here now second ball Mm -hmm. how amazing was it to win the 2009 World Cup yeah it's um it's crazy when I was uh, like your age and Mm -hmm. I I first got into junior England about 14 and I remember I was like, I want to play for England. Like, that was a goal. And I used to, like, make picture boards and put pictures of playing for England, playing for England. And um, I remember when I'd got old enough, the first World Cup that I could have played in was that 2009. I remember writing it, putting pictures up. And I got injured. I was out for, like, a couple of years with a bad back. But I kept looking at the picture. So when when we got there... um, it was the most amazing feeling of like hard work for yeah. like 10 years. And then the other thing is the friends. Like I've got so many friends that you play with from a young age up to playing. And it's supposed to be the best feeling in the world, holding that trophy. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's exciting. So I think two things, friendship and then knowing that you put in the hard work is really good fun. Definitely a great achievement though in life as well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so after playing an amazing cricket career, you became a world-renowned like commentator. Mm. What was your favourite part about TV and um, radio broadcasting? It's a good question. Do you know, it's the most fun career I've ever done in the sense of you're around people, you're talking about sport, you can also have a bit of fun as yeah. well, so you don't have to be like too serious all the time. Um, and then you're around like amazing athletes and getting to see them. So I think it kind of mixes everything. I love being around people. Um, I love sport and I like, I like competition as well. I like winning. Who's going to win? So I get into the story of it. I think the other thing as well is you have to learn new skills. Like I, you know, I wasn't a natural broadcaster. Um, I've had to learn a lot and I've still got a lot to learn. Yeah. But you realise that like it's a good place to like develop communication skills. Keep around the same sport. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Speaking of commentating, mm-hmm. you now work on 100. Yeah. Would you wish T20 was around when you played? Yes. Yes. I played T20 cricket, but not the 100. And I think the crowds... The DJs, like I'm not, you know, let's be honest, the DJs are so yeah. fun having them in the background, the fireworks. I would have just so got into not only trying to perform, but enjoying the entertainment. And I think I like that the crowds as well bring diverse groups. I see yeah. families, young, old, different backgrounds. Um, and, and it's just fun. Like, yeah, so, yeah. Like everyone shows up, even if they don't like yeah. cricket. Like, you like the 100? Yeah, obviously. Is that your favourite type? No. No. <laughs> I like a, a test, test for All the way. Then and then I'll be 100. Awesome. Obviously, we have to speak about the ACE program. Mm. Of course, you're the founder of the ACE program. And I really enjoy it here as well as a lot of others. What would you like to see ACE grow into? Good question. Uh, we've been talking about this. I think there's two sides. Is um, mm-hmm. We set it up because we wanted kids from diverse backgrounds yeah. to, to be seen and also to be able to fulfill potential. And so we set, we're setting ourselves a goal of like, we want to see professional players who make it all the way through yeah. from, you know, grassroots to the elite. That's our match. So in, in five years, I'd love to see male and female pros yeah. who've made it. And I think the other thing that we've learned more about the program is the community side and connecting with people. And it's like, I want 
all the kids who engage with ACE to develop their confidence, their self-esteem, find new opportunities like develop. I want all the clubs that are associated to, to really thrive. Like I want everyone to fulfill their potential. So I think if I can see, yes, some of the kids get to the very top, but also if we can see everybody who's around fulfill their potential and hopefully impact the sport, like more yeah. diverse faces. So yeah, I love it. And it's amazing having passionate young people like yourselves Thanks. who are flying the flag and I love, love seeing it. Um, I, I got asked the same question and I said, Ace TV, but hosted by me. Okay, well, we've got some ideas for you and I think we can make something like this happen. Are you down? Yeah, definitely. We're down. Cool. And the last ball, my personal favourite. Mm -hmm. What song would you come out to bat to? <gasps> oh, that is too tough of a question. Because, do you know what Garage is? I know I'm a bit, have you heard of Garage music? Yeah, It's kind of like house, it's a bit old school. That would get me going, but I think maybe I'd go, it'd have to be a hip hop song, wouldn't it? Um, I don't know. I need to think. I need to think. But, oh my gosh. I mean, Tupac's a bit random to be coming out to, but I think I'd be going for Tupac. Is that all right? Sorry about the lyrics might be a little bit right. older. Can't, but... can't play it though. Anyway, so <laughs> Tupac. It would be a Tupac song. Um, and a free hit. Anything you'd like to promote. Of course, Ace. Mm. And you've got the new um, app coming along as well. Yeah. So um, hopefully we're going to get you involved. We obviously Ace is flying and we're in six cities. So we want to see as many kids who are new to the game or, you know, even interested in going further. Make sure you come and check us out. And the second thing is we're looking to create more content. Yeah. for young people that looks and represents the community. So hopefully we'll be using your skills. Um, you're you. going to see some stuff coming out in the next few months. So stay tuned, Ace TV or some version of it. I'll definitely be on that, guys. Anyway, thanks, Ebs. Thanks, thanks for coming. Over. Well, and have a good that session. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, catch you next time, guys.